Hello everyone, welcome to the Blackboard Overview. I'm going to scroll down first to show you how to get to Blackboard. So just go to the main com page at com.edu. You're going to scroll down until you see the icons. Okay, the Office 365 and email, if you will click there, you will see your email. And if you look for the dots that are up in the corner here, in your email, that will put you into your OneDrive, which has your Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, Excel, etc., and you have a per gigabyte of storage there. So I highly recommend that you use your Office 365 and email. If you're looking for your account information for COM, grades, etc., go to the Web Advisor. That will put you into those, and most of you've probably already been there. We're going to go to Blackboard today and do an overview of Blackboard. So if you'll just click, that will take you in probably going to ask you for your sign-in, so use your sign-in for COM. Then you should see your course list. Of course, mine will be different than yours, but regardless of which course you're in, this overview is the same. I'm going to go into the 1301 section. So just click on your course. That's going to take you in. Once you get there, you should see your dashboard. If you're not seeing this side banner, Maybe your screen looks like this instead. If you'll just scroll over on the left, you'll see an arrow pop up, and that will show you your course menu. So you can push that in and out as you like. The first thing that pops up should be your dashboard. If not, you can go over to your settings, and it will let you, it will let you change the appearance. So you should see a setting tab right up there. Mine's up here somewhere, up behind this little banner there. Okay, so your announcements should pop up first. If not, that's okay. You can always click on the announcement tab further down. You'll also see the tab that says content. Okay, if you wanted to view the entire course content, you can go here and you'll see all the folders for the content. Read me first is next. That's where you're going to get started with your first assignment. Then welcome to the class and how to make your Writing Center account an appointment. You're going to need that somewhere along the line, so you can go ahead and do that if you like. It's the same login as your email and Blackboard. Next is your syllabus and course information. So you'll see that your syllabus is here, along with some other information, your free textbook, your weekly calendar, extra information. If you're in 1302, you're probably seeing even more than this. Just extra information. Next is your weekly calendar. This is probably the most important document of all. So you're going to see that pop up as a PDF. I would suggest going ahead and just printing that out if you have access to do that. Um, it lets you, it's got the boxes, so it will let you check it off as you work through each of these options. Now, this middle section corresponds with your weekly assignment folders in Blackboard. Everything that's in the middle section, you're also going to see in the weekly assignment folder, hopefully in the same order. Every now and then it gets out of order, but hopefully in the same order. Okay, the left hand side is just your week and any important info there. And the last column gives us our due dates. Do notice that for 1301 there is a diagnostic due on Thursday, and that's for assessment purposes. So if you'll go ahead and complete that. If you're in 1302, there is no diagnostic. You've already passed that by working through your 1301. Okay, so you'll see that the syllabus is there. I'm going to hit my back button up here, and it's going to take me back to Blackboard. Sometimes those will open in new pages. I'll double check that and make sure I can get that set up correctly. All right. So next you're going to see free textbooks. That's one of my pet peeves, cost of textbooks, so I'll try to put in as many free items as I can. Our textbooks are free, and you're going to find them there. As you work through the textbooks chapters, which are also in the homework folders uh, under the correct week, you're going to see some activities that go along with those. So don't skip those activities. Those are going to put your points in, showing that you read the chapter and you answered those simple questions. All right, so next is your graded activities, homework and activities. This is the section that you want to pay the most attention to. It has our weeks in it. Some of you may be in a five week or a 10 week or 16 week or something different, okay? And you'll just work through each of those. It's set up where you can work right straight through. If it opens up and you 
don't see the page that looks like this. It just opens you into an assignment. All you have to do is there'll be a menu on the side on the left, and you just click the assignment, and it will take you right on in. So for some of you, it may look just a tad different, but don't panic if it does. Just click on the left-hand side on the assignment, and it will take you to the assignment you want to work through. Um, these are not set up where you have to work through one assignment, then the next, then the next, so they're not set up to release that way. However, there are due dates on the folders, so be, be sure you are aware when the folders open and close, because that can cost you points, and we don't want that to happen, and they won't reopen. All right, writing quizzes are next. Some of you may or may not see this tab, depending on how many quizzes are set up for you. If it's not there, no big deal. It's in the uh, weekly homework assignment, so it's not a problem. All right, now, even though the weekly folders will close, the major assignment folders will not. So you're going to see your major assignment folders are here under the Submit Assignments up here. Back up, Submit Assignments right here. And those will let you submit major assignments. There are also links in the weekly folders as well for most of those. If not, just go to the Submit Assignments and you'll find it. Underneath that, we have the communication tools. So we have My Grades. For some of you, that may be under that graded activities tab. We have announcements. So if you're not seeing your announcements, you can click there every week and get those. Course email. It's probably not going to show up on your end. Uh, I continuously have issues with the Blackboard email with every school that I teach at. So uh, I prefer you just email me either. Um, well, email me through your Calm email system. That will be that will make sure that I do get it. The system will often block outside addresses. So if you're coming from a Yahoo or a Gmail, <clears throat> you may have to go in and, and do Calm email because it may block it. Uh, the other thing you can do, of course, is text me. It's going to get you an immediate response probably. So that's the best way. All right, so underneath that, you're going to see additional resources, and these are just quick links, kind of forgetting where you want to go. Uh, project folders are here, so let's say that you don't want to go into the weekly folder to look for those. You can definitely just go here, and it will get you right in. You're also going to see the virtual cafe discussion forum, and this is just Q&A forum. Maybe I'll put that on there, Q&A forum. Uh, we don't have any questions there, but just click Create Thread. Now it will let you put in a question or even a comment. Okay, so maybe someone asked a question, a classmate, and you know the answer. You can put that in. There's no points attached to this. It will stay there until the end of the semester. Then it will disappear as we work towards the finals. And you'll see that disappear. Um, I will clear these out as we answer questions, probably. You also see a FAQ, so frequently asked questions, just some extra information that, um, same questions I get over and over and over, so I just did an FAQ for it. Maybe that will help. I suggest just taking a look at that if you have time. If you need help with Blackboard, you can click the support tab, or if you want to do net tutor online tutoring, that is 24 7, and it does, uh, it fits the requirement for the peer workshopping, so you can use that if you like. I know that we all have different schedules, and that's why, maybe, why you're in an online course. You know, if you're working uh, some strange hours and you need tutoring at 3 or 4 a.m., or uh, this will help. And if you need to go to the Writing Center, it's right here. Remember that you can make as many appointments as you like with the Writing Center. You know, you can uh, make three appointments in one day if you want knowing that you're, you're going to need that. So um, I prefer you use the Calm Writing Center simply because we work closely with them and they know exactly what we're looking for with the essays. So, but again, you have a lot of options on that. So we'll work through that as we work through uh, the rest of the course. That should put you all the way through. You're not going to see course management. That's on my end only. Okay. So that should put you through the overview for Blackboard. If you have any questions or you need further help, just let me know.